so ufc 287 just ended and i am going to do a quick review on everything that happened as you can see in the pit here israel adesanya finally defeated alex Pereira, and we'll get into that but first let's hit the intro all right so the card started main card alone are covering so card starting with christian rodriguez versus raul rosas junior rosas is a up and coming fighter only 18 years old and already on the main card for ufc a lot of older fighters kind of against that decision because they prove they would more and should be on the main card like the main event of the preliminary card which was Chris Curtis versus Kevin Gastelum, which was a much better fight than that fight. I personally find it belonged on the main card, and Rosa should have headlined the prelim. But it's Dana White's company, he can do what he wants. Okay, so that fight started with a lot of wrestling. Rosas won the first round because of his heavy wrestling experience, but Rodriguez took his time, Rodriguez pieced him up, Rodriguez beat him up on his feet and on the ground in the wrestling, almost submitted him. Third round, Rosa showed a little fight on the feet, but he he's not as great on his feet as the wrestling. And after he got tired, that was basically a wrap. Rodriguez just had to hold him down and wrestle a little bit and that was it. Rodriguez won by unanimous decision. Next fight on the card was Kevin Holland versus Santiago Ponzinibbio. Great fight, went all three rounds, but it had a TKO at the end of the final round by Mr. Kevin Holland. So the fight went, started with a lot of kicks, kick heavy from Ponzinibbio. Holland fought as well. Holland was more with his bladed karate stance, fighting a lot of punches, a lot of good movement from Holland, but the leg kicks affected him a lot, it slowed him down, and he was not as active as he started before he got the leg kicks. But coming down to the final round, round three, wrong that way to knock out Ponsonibio, which was not really surprising, but he did it in a fashion where Ponsonibio was face up, ass down, bro. No, face down, ass up, you know? Um, like it was funny to see because Ponsonibio complained that he wasn't knocked out but bro he was knocked out it was like a flash knockout and the punch that Holland hit him while he was grounded woke him up that kind of way it's like it kind of resuscitated him so yeah that happened good fight on the card was Rob Front versus Adrian Yanis great fight only lasted one round a lot of activity no grappling really only a lot of punches headshots straight headshots with them too I thought at one point Giannis was going to win it. Then Fun found that way. Ducked a shot and hit a nice kind of overhand right. It was like an uppercut, but it was more like a hook. Cut him down, knocked him down, and finished him on the ground. And that was that fight. Quickly to the next fight on the card, which was cool main. It was Gilbert Burns versus Jorge Masvidal. Masvidal said before this fight started in interviews leading up that if he didn't win this one he would retire and so he did. He retired. This fight was like his swan song basically. He put up a good fight, he always scraps, he always does his best. Uh, he wasn't really riding on a win streak or anything coming into this one. His last two fights were losses before this. To me, he won the first round, but the last two rounds was wrestle heavy and a lot of punches he ate from Gilbert Burns. So I can't really give him the wrong. So he lost by unanimous decision. And at the end, he retired, threw his gloves to the fans of the arena, thanked them for coming and everything. So that's it for Game Bread 20 years into the MMA thing. And he said he could retire happily. He's a millionaire. He could take care of his family and whatnot. So that's all as a man you would want to take care of your family and stuff so yeah happy retirement to that guy and the flying knockout of ben Askren was one of my funniest moments seeing him well not really fun because it's not fun to see somebody get a head caved in by a knee but entertaining 
at least. And the main event. Oh boy. Alex Pereira, champion versus Israel Adesanya. Coming into this one, Adesanya lost to Pereira three times in a row, twice in kickboxing and once in UFC. So everything was against Adesanya leading into this one. He was very much more aggressive in this one than the last one, which kind of helped in his favor. But at the same time, he was kind of getting beat up. Not kind of, he was getting beat up in the fight before he won it. Pereira used a lot of leg kicks to slow him down, just like the Kevin Holland fight from earlier in the card with Puddin Sanibio. A lot of leg kicks to slow down the faster opponent, but Adesanya was kind of hurting from it but he moved smart in a way because in the second round he kind of got himself against the cage locked up a little bit and he saw the right opportunity to get a quick little combo bap, bap, and knocked out mr Pereira. cool cool stone cool and Pereira has this kind of arrow celebration he does adesanya basically mocked it with shooting some fake arrows at him which i find found comical it was a cold celebration i'm not gonna lie to all you and yeah that was this card ufc 287 i enjoyed it a lot have some more exciting cards coming later on this year so i'll be covering it maybe i'll stream maybe i'll record a video like this so i hope you all enjoy this this has been jabari and i'll see you in the next one peace